If you plan to live with a car for a long time, reliability means everything, especially when you're shopping for an SUV. Today's SUVs have come a long way from those dusty, dirty, and tough cars of yesterday. In turn, they're also becoming more expensive with least respective shoppers with limited options. Shopping for an SUV, however, does have its drawbacks. Shoppers must consider what model, engine, cab configuration, and trim level to look for. One way to shorten your list of options is to understand which SUVs to avoid. So here are seven SUVs only stupid stupid people buy. The Ford Bronco the Ford Bronco is one of the deadliest SUVs known to man, due to its terrible reputation of rolling over and killing its drivers. By the early 1980s, Ford Motor Company was in terrible shape. They were laying off not just tens, but hundreds of thousands of workers, and the market share was dropping due to Japanese competition. Not to mention high gasoline prices and stringent government regulations that were keeping them from making gas guzzlers. But Ford found a solution, a way around the new fuel requirements. One class of vehicles, like trucks, was treated more leniently. This class of vehicle was called the SUV. Ford started building SUVs by taking the steel underbodies of pickup trucks and simply lowering them onto different passenger compartments and bolting them on. The result was the Ford Bronco 2, and it was rolled out in March 1983. And of course, it was an immediate hit. But the rugged image of this class of new vehicles concealed a critical safety flaw. Like trucks, SUVs were disproportionately tall and narrow, with a high center of gravity causing them to roll over. Deaths and serious injuries mounted, and with these deaths came lawsuits. These these lawsuits uncovered that prototypes of the Ford Bronco 2 tipped over at speeds as low as 20 miles per hour, and that Ford upper management actually considered shelving the Bronco 2 during development. To make the Bronco 2 less likely to roll over, Ford engineers proposed to widen it by 2 inches, but to do so would have delayed the first date of production. Management opted not to widen the vehicle, costing thousands of lives. Ford's defense was that rollovers were caused by driver error, when in reality it was actually the SUV's design. But Ford's lawyers never had to argue this in court because they often settled the lawsuits quietly. During the next 10 years, more than a thousand people would die in Bronco rollover crashes alone. Although the new Ford Bronco may not have these problems, here at Modern Muscle we believe the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire, and we recommend avoiding the Ford Bronco altogether. The Jeep Wrangler Jeeps have a reputation for being tough and gritty off-road vehicles, but the Wrangler is one of the most dangerous SUVs on the road. Its 28% chance of rolling over is the worst among all SUVs in America, while its poor ratings for side crash tests and visibility make the two-door model even worse than the four-door version. Marginal scores in its head and small overlap crash tests only add to the fright customers have for this vehicle. Another issue regarding the Wrangler is the number of recalls that have plagued it for the past 10 years. Every model since 2005 has had countless recalls for various parts. These include the brakes, the transmission, the fuel system, wiring, engine systems, emission systems, and much more. Sometimes the issues get fixed, but that's only if the owner actually took the vehicle in to have the problem rectified. Unless you could be certain of the vehicle's past, the Wrangler is an SUV every American should overlook. The Audi Q3 Nobody would blame you for believing that the Q3 is a safe vehicle, due to it being named the top safety pick for the 2016 model year. But don't let that fool you, because this luxury SUV is one of the deadliest in America. The Premium Plus model, starting at $34,500, is one of the worst SUVs for visibility due to its poor headlight options. Furthermore, with the SUV's 90% chance of electrical failure typically occurring while the vehicle's driving at high speeds, combined with its lack of available front crash prevention technology, the Q3 leaves much to be desired in the safety department compared to others in its class. The Mercedes-Benz GL the Mercedes-Benz GL was first launched in 2006 to compete in the luxury SUV segment, though many observers felt it was a little late to the party. Some of the most common problems with the Mercedes-Benz GL include rough shifting, brake and rotor failure, and oil leakage coming from the vent housing. Another hot problem with the GL is that the car's seat warmers can smoke and even catch fire. According to carcomplaints.com, one owner claims that they turned on the seat warmer while driving. In a very short amount of time, there was a strong burning smell and thick smoke. They felt intense heat on their back and realized the source was the seat itself, and within minutes a cloud of smoke filled the car. The BMW X4 
The X4 is a mid-sized luxury SUV from BMW that has been in production since 1999. According to BMW, the X4 is more tailored as a sports activity vehicle rather than an SUV. The most common problem reported is the air suspension, which can cost around $3,000 to fix. You're also likely to experience problems with the thermostat, the water pump, front universal joint failure, fuel pump leakage, and airbag ruptures. Valve cover gasket leaks as well as a loss of power steering due to leaking hoses are also common. BMW did a great job with the 3 Series but failed to impress with the X4. The Jeep Grand Cherokee during its debut, the 2014 Jeep Cherokee was noteworthy for showing off the world's first 9-speed automatic transmission, produced by German pioneer ZF. The compact unit, which also debuted in the Land Rover Evo, weighed 17 pounds less than the outgoing 6-speed automatic, and delivered fuel savings of up to 16%. Unfortunately, this transmission has a nasty habit of murdering its drivers. Despite its advanced technology, the ZF 9-speed automatic transmission has been problematic to say the least, with reported issues in including sudden lunges from unexpected downshifts, no kickdown when merging on a highway, front axle vibration in low gears, and complete mechanical failure. In mid-April of 2019, Jeep recalled 1.1 million vehicles equipped with ZF's automatic transmission because according to the automaker's recall notice, some drivers exited their vehicles without first selecting park, ultimately causing the cars to roll away uncontrollably. On the unusual mushroom-shaped gear shifter, a driver presses and holds a button and pushes the shifter all the way up to sit their car in park, after which the shifter centers itself again. But Fiat Chrysler said that the Jeep's shifter design didn't provide drivers with sufficient feedback for them to know what gear the car was in, and so some drivers just left the vehicles in neutral before exiting the car. And due to this catastrophic failure, actor Anton Yelton paid the ultimate price. While the Star Trek actor was leaving his home and clearing the security gate, he put the vehicle in park, got out, and left the vehicle. Anton Yelton's 5,000-pound Jeep Grand Cherokee then experienced sudden and total transmission failure, causing it to roll backwards and pinning him against the gate with such force it bent the metal. The Land Rover Discovery Sport since the new Land Rover Discovery Sport comes with such a high price tag, many opt to purchase the SUV used, though this is definitely not the best idea considering the reliability issues. The Discovery was reported to be UK's most unreliable car by DailyMail.com, with a whopping 71% of them breaking down at least once a year. On top of breaking down often, the Discovery requires a great deal of repairs as well. Some of the repairs reported by customers include transmission failure, electrical problems, brake issues, and suspension component failures. The Ford Explorer Transmission failures and problems are unfortunately very common with Ford Explorers. The cost of a repair can be enormous. The most common transmission problem found in Ford Explorers is outright failure. Symptoms include a blinking OD light, slipping gears, difficulty shifting, and sudden rapid deceleration of the vehicle. Many customers report transmission failure after only 30,000 miles of normal driving. The cost of this repair could be as much as $4,000, perhaps even higher if the repair is done by a dealership. Customers have also reported higher than usual RPMs being required to shift the vehicle from first to second gear, followed shortly by gear slippage and total transmission failure. The good news is that often only the transmission's wiring will need to be replaced, but this repair can still cost upwards of $7,000. Ouch! The Nissan Pathfinder now, the Nissan Pathfinder has always been one of the most competitive vehicles in its segment. However, early third-generation SUVs were plagued by coolant leakages which have ruined countless transmissions. A defective radiator tank design that ruptures and leaks coolant is to blame. When coolant mixes with transmission fluid, it triggers an irreversible process of transmission erosion. But if you think that's all, guess again, because the Nissan Pathfinder also has one of the worst automatic transmissions known to man. More and more new vehicles are using a continuously variable CVT automatic transmission rather than a conventional hydraulic transmission. Why you ask? Somewhat like a bicycle chain, a CVT's heavy duty drive belt runs between groove pulleys with hydraulic actuators, allowing the gear ratio to vary infinitely within a range, seamlessly. CVT's deliver tangible fuel savings, but more importantly for manufacturers, the units are simpler and cheaper to produce. The Nissan Pathfinder has come equipped with a CVT transmission for 15 years, and for 15 years straight these cheap transmissions have proved themselves to be ineffective at best and fatally flawed at worst. 
Common complaints include violent shaking and shuddering, difficulty accelerating, overheating, and total transmission failure at high speeds. Early examples saw that CVT snapped their low-cost metallic belts after just 1,000 miles. Tons of other Nissan owners have also known the scourge, even after the transmission manufacturer took steps to improve reliability. Sadly, the transmission continued to fail regardless. As a result, the 2014 model made it onto at least 10 least reliable car lists, with buyers reporting transmission problems and rattling noises. Other common problems include an erratic fuel gauge and engine noises caused by slack and timing chains. The starter relay is also known to fail, leaving you high and dry because your car won't start. Not to mention transmission fuel leakage, which can again leave you stranded in the middle of nowhere. According to Consumer Reports, the vehicle also doesn't handle that well either, and the running boards are more of a hindrance than a help. The Honda CRV. If you see a new Honda CRV for sale at a reasonable price, don't jump on the opportunity just yet. There's something off with one of the most popular compact SUVs in the US. Many CRV owners have reported unnatural vibrations coming from both the engine and the transmission. Needless to say, they have experienced them straight after delivery, which can only mean one thing. It's a defect on Honda's part. The new Honda CRV often shakes violently while at idle and at low RPMs. And it not only comes from the shifter, but the steering wheel as well, and the dash, and the pedal. Apparently, Honda has found a solution, but neither they nor the dealers seem obligated to inform the owners. This can only mean that Honda is trying to keep this one quiet. In other words, they know they've screwed things up, epically. The Tesla Model X Although the Model X received a perfect score in the Consumer Reports owner survey, with the majority of buyers happy with the purchase, we feel obligated to include it on this list due to the vehicle's unreliability and its fatally flawed autopilot system. In terms of reliability, Consumer Reports found it to be one of the least reliable vehicles in 2017, discovering issues related to the brakes, its interior trim, its all-wheel drive system, and much more. But the most shocking fatal flaw of the Tesla Model X is its autopilot system. Although Tesla claims that its self-driving technology makes driving safer and reduces traffic, in reality this technology has proven to be ineffective at best and fatally flawed at worst. In 2018, a Tesla Model X crashed into a concrete median near Mountain View, California. The car's automated autopilot feature crashed it into a narrow concrete barrier at over 80 miles per hour, after which it was struck twice by two following vehicles and exploded into flames. <laughs> Another Tesla Model X autopilot crash happened in January of 2018, when a Tesla slammed into a parked fire truck. Tesla's response was that autopilot is intended for use only with a fully attentive driver. So to sum it all up, the Tesla Model X may be fast, and it may have some road presence, but there's nothing luxurious about a service bay, or crashing due to faulty autopilot technology. Well guys, those are 7 SUVs only stupid people buy. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.